Hey guys, even here, and this video, as you can see, we are starting with a new physique update of Samson Dauda. But guys, stay tuned because this one is a special one. We're gonna go over all the poses, you're gonna see some new detail on Samson that you've never seen before. So first of all, check out the legs, when he's basically not even flexing them, kind of flexing them here in the relaxed pose. Look at this, look at the details in the Vestas Medialis, in just the overall quads. I don't think I ever saw this before. Look at the midsection right here, how dry it is, how thin his skin looks. I don't think I ever saw Samson this dry, this lean, and he is four weeks out in this particular physique update. So as you can see right here, his front double bicep probably looks the best it ever looked. Did he get bigger? Did he improve like the size of his arms or his lats? I don't think so. I don't think he improved that much, maybe a little, maybe a tiny bit, but he looks so much better because he is a lot leaner. I think right now at 4 weeks out, he is leaner than he was on the Mr. Olympia stage last year. But I mean, he was way off at the Mr. Olympia, even though he placed third, I think he was way off with conditioning at least. But I think his conditioning right now is probably even better than it was at the Arnold Classic last year where he won. I think this pose and front double bicep are two poses Samson is probably winning against Hadi. And I mean, take a look at this shot in particular, his chest and especially his midsection, that area where Hadi is particularly hard and shredded, Samson is definitely improved, he is definitely leaner and drier than ever before. I mean, I don't think I ever saw his skin look so thin in the midsection and also I don't think I ever saw this much detail in his chest and I don't think his legs were ever this separated, this crisp. Yeah, sure, Samson could be leaner everywhere, but where he is missing the conditioning the most is definitely his lower body from behind, particularly his glutes. However, at this point, they are looking, in my opinion, more separated, more conditioned than ever, probably even including the Arnold Classic stage. They are still not super, super shredded, but there are four weeks left, maybe they will be, but they're definitely moving in the right direction. And based on what I'm seeing right here, I think it is pretty safe to say that the reason why Samson hasn't been bringing the conditioning was because they thought it wasn't the best game plan. It probably had nothing to do with his genetics, with his ability to burn fat. His glutes weren't really that stubborn of a body part to lose fat from, it's just he didn't want to push to that level because he would lose some size and fullness and he wasn't willing to sacrifice it and I believe it was the right game plan because the success that Samson achieved so far in the past few years was tremendous but at this point he has enough muscle, he's bigger than the other two guys, the only two guys who are better than him in the world in bodybuilding as of today so I believe at this point he can afford that luxury of losing a little bit of size, maybe to get a little bit more conditioned, because against Hadi, he can't beat him if he is a little bit off, he needs to be shredded and also really big and really full and really aesthetic and really round and all that, but good conditioning in this mashup is required if you ask me, and as you can see right here, his glutes are getting there, in this transition to the side chest, his glutes actually look super shredded, but it's not really the case from the back. Side poses are really good for Samson because of his stature, because of how big and round he is, and he was kind of always able to hide the lack of conditioning in the side poses, but from the back, he can't really hide any of that, and here you can see that his glutes, I think, look definitely more conditioned than they were at the Mr. Olympia. I think they're definitely drier, but are these glutes really peeled? Yeah, I don't think I would go as far as to call these glutes peeled, but you know, he has four weeks, so maybe they will be ready in time. The hamstrings are looking good, but they usually do look good. The glutes are definitely the area where his body fat is gonna go away from last, so if he keeps on going and pushing for conditioning just a little bit more, I think those glutes are not gonna stand out as much, and I think, you know, he's gonna have a fighting chance against freaking Hadi at the Arnold Classic. And I think he can beat him in a couple of poses, like this one, and side chest as well, potentially front lat and front double, 
However, most muscular absent ties and both back poses are definitely hottest poses, but I don't know, overall it's not really about the poses. Like When Samson won the Arnold Classic last year, I don't think he won a single pose against Nick Walker and Andrew Jacked. But overall, he had the least flaws, and that's how he won. And the same thing may happen at this year's Arnold Classic against Hari Chopin. It's really possible, and I'm really curious to see it. It's gonna be so interesting. But yeah, it looks like, overall, it looks like Samson is bringing his absolute best conditioning of all time by far. However, however, Hari seems to be bringing potentially, probably, his best package of all time. I think it's been a while since we saw Hadi this shredded. Check out the glutes. Like, that's the area where you can see how conditioned somebody is. And it goes for Hadi as well. Because in the past few years, two years to be exact, 2023 and 2022, he wasn't that shredded like he was the years before. He was bigger, a lot bigger, but not really peeled. And during this time between the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold Classic, it seems like Hadi actually managed to make some solid progress, and I think he's gonna sacrifice all that added fullness in order to come in completely shredded and probably the same size as before. Let's take a look at this video, so if that happens, if Hadi is the same size, but more shredded, and I think that's exactly what's gonna happen, Man, I know how good Samson is, and I know he's bringing his best conditioning, but can he really beat this? I don't know. From the back, I don't think there's a chance. I don't think Samson is gonna have glutes like this. And also the back. Hadi's back is simply bigger, more developed, wider. It's just better. And especially now, after he lost to Derek Lansford, I think he focused on it, and he improved it. He got it even bigger and thicker and more detailed it's just better than it was before and against samson he's gonna he's gonna kill samson in the back poses because i mean he's peeled he's peeled i mean the glutes are looking shredded really lean really dry at four freaking weeks out and i mean look at look at the front actually the side like he is getting super super peeled and hardy is not missing a mark that's one thing we can be sure about. If he looks like this at four weeks out, we can be certain that this guy is coming in shredded. Shredded, and I think even a little bit improved. So it will be really, really hard, nearly impossible for Samson to take him out. But you never know, anything is possible. And here in this front shot, I think it's visible that Hadi's right leg is smaller than his left one. It's something Tyler Mannion was talking about. And that's when we all noticed it. I wasn't able to notice it before, and now I can see it when I'm paying attention to it. So that's something that can cost Hadi a couple of points. We'll see how much will it affect him, but you know, symmetry is a criteria, and Samson seems pretty perfectly symmetrical, and you know, that's a big thing. So that will hurt Hadi a little. Is it gonna be enough to give Samson the edge? If it is very, very close, who knows? It's possible. But basically at this point, at least for me personally, it's pretty much impossible to see who's gonna win this show. But if you guys made up your minds, tell me down below if you have an opinion at this point at 4 weeks out. Personally, I'm still not sure. I'm pretty torn apart. I don't know. I'll have to come up with an opinion when I make my prediction video, but at this point, I really don't know. All I know right now is that it's gonna be a hell of a show. Now, meanwhile, in classic physique, we got Wesley Wissers prepping for the Arnold Classic. This is what he looks like right now at four weeks out. Can he win the Arnold Classic classic physique title? No. No, he cannot. The only reason I'm talking about him right now is because of his popularity, his YouTube channel. Arnold Classic and classic physique is gonna be basically a repeat of the Mr. Olympia only without Chris Bumstead. I believe Wesley was the seventh at a Mr. Olympia, so I guess Eddie Arnold, he's probably gonna be like top six, maybe, we'll see, something like that, but like to win against Ramon, against uh, freaking uh, Urs, and Brion Ainsley, and the other guys, no, 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 I mean in these photos, he looks like he could, because here he is hitting his best poses, and he's taking these photos from a perfect angle, and the lighting is really good, so he looks like he could beat Chris Bumstead, but 
really on stage if you guys follow bodybuilding and classic physique you know what his gaps are you know structure wise there are certain things that he cannot overcome ever so no no he cannot win the Arnold classic but like potentially if he's kind of lucky he can crack that like top five maybe if some other guys are off and he's really on with conditioning but there are certain gaps in his physique that will prevent him from winning the show uh, however if he places like top four top five that's a huge success for Wesley Wissers I like his physique because he's a tall guy, dominant arms, stuff like that, but on stage I can see some glaring weaknesses, so, you know, I don't think he can uh, ever win the Arnold Classic or Mr. Olympia, but maybe someday, who knows, this year against Ramon, Urs and Brion, I don't think so, I don't see it, but you guys tell me what do you think, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, guys, please stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye-bye.